Hey everybody, Galusia here, and today we're going to be checking out what I'm going to play first on the two new weapons available to us from the Season 1 Pass. I'm going to start with the Groza. Of course, the other weapon is the Mac 10 which is the first one you can actually unlock. But I'm more interested in the new Assault Rifle, and I wanted to try that one out first. But you are going to have to get the Battle Pass tier skip if you want to get to this. It is unlocked on tier 31. And surprisingly, at least according to this, there's no blueprints available in the shop. You would think for a new gun, maybe they would want to try to make people buy it to get some attachments. But they're not doing that this time around. So I double checked and went through all the various skills. There's nothing new in there, meaning there's nothing new that needs to be unlocked or whatever, but they do have watches that are unlocked. So I am going to select one of those that's under accessories, but there's no new skills. So you don't have to worry about that, at least not yet. And they have, uh, so I bought the battle pass. So I get the 10% XP boost, which is the same as what it was in modern warfare. And it's showing me that I have tokens available. And you can see I have XP tokens and I have weapon XP tokens. And I'm trying to remember if these are... I don't think these are carryovers from Modern Warfare. I'm pretty sure these are separate. I don't think these are ones that I had from before. Because I was wondering if they were going to carry over. I don't think they are. But I am probably going to pop one of these double weapon XP tokens. So I can level this gun faster. But let's look at the available modes that we have. So... Um, Jingle Hells is, of course, the new holiday theme map, so we can see that that's available. Take part in the festivities by throwing snowballs at zombies to make them drop presents. Keep an eye on those snowmen. Okay. And there is a Jingle Hells solo, so that's what's up. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, they're supposed to also be adding... A new game mode but I don't see that but I do see a thing for match options endless 20 around now yeah see so we're gonna be doing jingle hell solo collect snowballs to throw at enemies to freeze them slow zombies will have a chop to drink presents presents contain all sorts of rewards snowmen might contain presents or something more sinister okay If we survive long enough, we could always buy random accessories for the Groza, which will give us a chance to try it out with some different like attachments and stuff. It looks weird. It looks hella weird. It's such a weird looking gun just to hold. Look at him running in there looking all weird. Oh, okay. I have five snowballs. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I got a Semtex, so... Oh, Jesus. Okay. I like the Santa hats. Oh, I got a snowball. This is coming with me. What the hell? She got a Kimbo pistols from one of the presents. That's ridiculous. I have to say, I like the iron sights on this. That is very clean. Not a bad amount of headshot damage. 93 at a little bit of distance. We see up close if it's the same. Like the... 34 to the body, which is about the same as the AK. And 93 to the head, which is just a little bit less than the AK. The AK is like 106 or something like that. I was just using it, so I'm just comparing from memory. So don't quote me on the numbers per se, but. Oh. I'm actually, I'd rather have the knife than that. What? Oh. Okay. Obviously, I want to do the... Oh, look at this. Happy Holidays. Okay. There you go. Boom. Like that. That's fun. Uh, but yeah, I want to do the zombie dance Easter party. Or Easter party. The zombie dance Easter egg. Uh... 
Because I'm hoping that's going to be holiday themed and they're going to switch that up somehow, you know. <gasps> no, there's no zombie dance party? Oh, Okay, so no zombie dance party. But that's also... I mean, are we really surprised by that, though? It's probably... It probably has its own unique new Easter egg. Which I'm not surprised about. So normally I do this, but I feel like doing the freeze might be better. I feel like there might be some sort of like interaction with that. So anyway, so when we upgrade it, it turns into the Tugarin? Tugarin? Oh my god. Blitzen Hound. I tell you what, it makes him a little bit easier to spot with the shiny red nose. I literally don't think I've ever selected the freeze option for the gun. I just feel like I had to to fit the Oh my god. Ooh, this thing has a pretty big upward kick. Oh shit, I'm like literally almost dead. Oh god. I'm actually used to by now like already having um, jugs. Oh fuck me. Because you can get it for free from, you know, the zombie dance party. So, <laughs> so I kind of forgot that I don't have jugs. Dude, the snowmen like respawn? The snowmen must respawn because they're everywhere. Obviously, I already dealt with snowmen. The fact that the snowmen are respawning every... Like every round or every time you leave an area or whatever the situation uh, is actually kind of problematic because like when you're kiting zombies and running through the area like you can suddenly have fresh zombies like popping out in front of you or right next to you or whatever because of the snowman. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, elf. Oh, I thought it still had to, I didn't realize I was discharging it. Oh god. Okay. Move. How do I miss? How do I miss? I'm so stupid. I literally thought it said it was cooling down. That's so frustrating. I legit thought it said that it was cooling down. Oh my god. Why are there still zombies here? Okay. Anyway. That minor screw up aside, the die is obviously exactly the same. Nothing's changed with that for this game mode. Let's take a look at the crafting bench. So, uh, it's st we still have access to all the, the tacticals. Lethals. Oh, shit. We have more of these, though. So, we have a cruise missile. We never had that before. That's interesting. A cruise missile in zombies. I mean, I guess if you wanted to get... Um, I'm assuming it works just like the chopper gunner, where like while you're controlling it, you're immune to zombie damage. If that's the case, then I mean that wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, I mean without actually like seeing a recoil plot, you know, and getting like real technical about the new gun, which I'm sure someone like Ace will do very shortly. The it seems like it has a pretty upward, a pretty strong upward tendency, but I'm not seeing a lot of side to side. Like, it's pretty controllable. And keep in mind, I don't have any attachments for this gun. So I'm just kind of seeing it in its naked form. The upward tendency for it, though, is pretty hard. Like, so I play with a keyboard and a mouse, if you didn't already know that for some reason. And I'm... I'm pulling back pretty good on my mouse to keep this all, like, under control or whatever. Hey, I'm nice. Oh, fuck. Gives me present. Dude, this game loves to dish out the freaking uh, Milano out of these gifts. It's like the third time I've gotten one. It's actually getting kind of ridiculous. Not gonna lie. This thing does not really do hip firing. Like, you pretty much have to aim down sight. The good news is, it really does not need 
any kind of optic, in my opinion. Like, this is a super... Like, even for multiplayer, if I'm... You know, like, everything I do in Zombies does not directly translate, obviously, into multiplayer. Some guns that are good in Zombies are terrible in multiplayer and vice versa. But, um... I would... I would easily use this gun in multiplayer and, like, not worried about it. Oh. Oh, shit. Can you die? Fucking hell. Guess this is mine. Seems like I'm getting a lot of guns from the presence and not a lot of equipment. Holy shit. I don't know why it just dawned on me just now, but I know why we're just getting random guns from the presence. There's no mystery box. There's... I, I was... Dude, I... Three different times now I've thought to myself, I wonder how the mystery box is different. I haven't seen it yet. I should go investigate that. That's why I keep getting random ass guns. Look at this guy. The armored guy is like a Christmas tree. What the fuck? Uh, again, without any attachments, it's not bad against armored opponents either. Obviously, they make barrels and stuff that do bonus damage against armored zombies, but it's pretty good out of the gate. I really don't have complaints about the new gun. Just gotta deal with the recoil, which is gonna be so easy to do once we start... I mean, we already leveled it a bunch of times, but once we get attachments... It just really seems like it's drinking ammo. Like, I had full ammo at the start of that round, and I have less than two mags now. So an extended magazine is going to be a must when you're setting yours up. Absolute must. Buying ammo. I just feel like it's too early in the game to be buying ammo. I just feel like I don't normally... Do I normally buy ammo this early in the game? Am I cracked? Who's snowball? Oh my god, I don't automatically pick up snowballs. Dude, if you're out of equipment, it's one thing if you don't want to switch equipment, but if you're out of equipment, like, and you run over it, I don't care if it's a stun or whatever, you should just automatically pick it up. If you have nothing... Okay, this this might be suicidal. I might have just committed suicide. Okay. Well, we got a red dot, which, as I said before, I feel like that's unnecessary. Because this gun is really good. But we've got a laser, and this weapon, I think does lack hip fire so that's probably good some sort of a silencer which just means a in, increase in equipment drop so that's fine and some sort of a stock if i'm not mistaken i think it's a movement speed stock or like an aim down sight movement speed stock Oh, and a larger mag. Okay, good. Because we were 60 before, now we're 80. So I'm assuming it's a 40-round mag, and it's been doubled because of the punch. Well, that was totally worth doing the random thing, then, if we're getting a larger mag, because we needed that real bad. Fuck you, boss. <laughs> uh, the damage from the snowball scales. I think I just did, like, 822 damage, if I'm not mistaken, when I threw that at the boss. Originally, it was, like, 100 and something. What the? I allowed myself to get pinned. That was stupid. And I never bought a self revive, so that's really unfortunate. Ugh, I've literally never gotten caught on that corner before, ever. Well, that's okay. I was actually thinking to myself that I might just do like a round 30 X fill so that I could try out the MAC 10 because I don't want to spend too much time. My goal was basically just to get the uh, the new weapons to round ten, uh, to level 10 on my first try so that I could get, you know, some attachments going on them and do all that. So not too salty about it. So I, I literally forgot that we have this. Well, it's nice to see the progression. I mean, like round 30 isn't too bad. Uh, and that was like, I don't know, maybe an hour of gameplay, but I got 
like one and a third progress on the battle pass, that's pretty good. If that's an indication of how much progress I'm going to get on the season tiers, like I may not have to purchase the season skips because I play enough zombies to progress that like for sure. So that's not bad at all. So let's take a look at this thing because we haven't looked at <clears throat> all the attachments yet. Cool. Well, there you go. There's the gun after uh, one round of playing. We got all the attachments set for all the first attachments set. So it's pretty much what I was after. And we got it done. So comment below, guys. Let me know what you think of the Groza so far. If you think it looks like it's going to be a good weapon or not. I mean, it feels good in my hands. But uh, comment below. Let me know what you think. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And... Hit the bell icon that YouTube is so fond of, and I will see you guys in the next one.